Good afternoon. That was an incredible video. I, on the other hand, work with preteens and teenagers. Please allow me to introduce myself. I am Vant Washington, Youth Development Specialist for the Family Partnership for the past seven years. I hope you're not confused by my parents. I did not have a hand in preparing the food you have just had. <laughs> but there are days in which I wish I worked with the little ones. How many have teenagers at home? They can be times challenging, to say the least. How many remember the movie, Under the Sea? Sebastian the Red Claw Lobster summed it all up and said, teenagers, they think they know everything. I work in an educational program for family partnership called Youth on the Move. It is an afternoon school enrichment program that helps kids learn new things and keeps them out of trouble. As you can tell, one of the classes I teach is cooking. It's my way of teaching math, science, reading, and basic life skills. I never think what kind of impact I make on kids till one day it hit me. Marcus, a student of mine, had just turned 13. A boy, like many others at his age, is what we call at risk. And to tell you the truth, all children are at risk. Marcus is very likable, willing to learn, and helps me in the classroom. He has a smile and charm that would melt butter 30 feet away. He also has a slight touch of manners. One Saturday, while shopping for cooking supplies, I heard, hey, Mr. Washington, Mr. Washington. It was Marcus and his mother. I introduced myself to her, and she said, so. You're the one Marcus always refers to when I'm trying to cook dinner. <laughs> he says, Mr. Washington tells us to wash the lettuce this way and wash the tops of the cans and turn the pan handles inward so that I or my sister will not tip the pan over ourselves. We need to use olive oil. It's healthier. <laughs> Mr. Washington this, Mr. Washington that. She said, well, I'd like to thank you. Since you've been in your class, Marcus wants to cook or helps cook. But most of all, we have that time together. We talk about school and what he'd like to become someday. His grades are looking better from some of the school, after school classes. We share our stories of the day or just check in with each other. When all is said and we are both silent, just being together really, really counts. That kind of story impacts me to do the work I, I do. Your support is and can be impactful to many other lives like it has to and for Marcus. We need your support so we can do what truly needs to be done. Thank you. Thank you so much.